Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. Ini adalah video untuk topik Accounting for Receivable ataupun Perakaunan Akaun Belum Terima dengan subtopik Write Off Doubtful Debt dan Recovery of Bad Debt. Jika ia bermanfaat, sila tonton, subscribe, like and share. Method to write off doubtful debt atau keedah untuk hapus kira akaun hutang ragu. As we learned in previous lecture, accounting for bad debt is divided into two methods. Those are direct write off method and allowance method. Di bawah hapus kira langsung, direct write off method, hutang lapu adalah belanja ataupun expenses. Syarikat mengkreditkan akaun belum terima pada financial position dan mendebitkan akaun hutang lapuk pada penyata pendapatan atau income statement. Di bawah bentuk perakaunan ini, tidak ada bahagian allowance untuk hutang ragu ataupun allowance for doubtful debt pada financial position. Oleh itu, Journal entry untuk bad debt write off hanyalah pada keadaan peruntukan ataupun allowance method sahaja dengan menggunakan akaun allowance for doubtful debt. Writing of bad debt for allowance method is divided into two situations. First situation is AFDD or Allowance for Doubtful Debts account does not exist before. It means that there is no balance brought forward for AFDD. And the second situation is AFDD accounts does exist before. It means that there is a balance brought forward for AFDD. For the first situation, that is, if the allowance for doubtful debt accounts does not exist before, so the general entry is debit, bad debt expenses and credit accounts receivable. And for the second situation, that is, if the allowance for doubtful debt accounts is available before, so, bad debt expenses need adjustment. The general entry is debit allowance for doubtful debt and credit accounts receivable. Now, we look at example 1 that is for creating the allowance in the current year. Closing balance for accounts receivable as at 31st December 2020 is 10,000 and estimated allowance from receivable balance is 1%. Required, prepare general entry to record bad debt expenses. To calculate bad debt expenses, just follow the steps. First step is Draw a T accounts for allowance for doubtful debt. Then fill in the balance brought forward that is zero. And then fill in balance carry forward. To calculate balance carry forward, 1% allowance multiply with balance account receivable 10,000 and it equals to 100. So, 100 is the balance carry forward. After that, you balance the T accounts left and right. That is 100. And what is the missing figure? The missing figure is 100. So, this 100 is bad debt expenses. The general entry is debit, bad debt expenses 100 and credit allowance for doubtful debt 100. The narration is to record adjustment for bad debt expenses.
For example 2, allowance for doubtful debt on 1st January 2020 is 3650 Closing balance account receivable on 31st December 2020 is 240000 Bad debt written off for the year is 2000 and estimated allowance for doubtful debt on the balance of accounts receivable is 1%. Required, prepare a journal entry to record the bad debt written off and bad debt expenses for the year 2020. The answer to record journal entry for the bad debt written off is Debit allowance for doubtful debt 2000 and credit accounts receivable 2000. To calculate bad debt expenses, first of all, draw a T accounts for allowance for doubtful debt. At the credit side, Fill in balance brought forward 3650 At the debit side, fill in accounts receivable 2000 That is the bad debt written off. Then, fill in balance carry forward at the debit side. Firstly, you have to calculate 240,000 the account receivable multiply with 1% rate of allowance that is 2,400 after that you balance the account T left and right that is 4,400 and the missing figure is the bad debt expenses that is 750 and the general entry for bad debt expenses is debit bad debt expenses 750 and credit allowance for doubtful debt 750 the narration to record the bad debt expenses Bad debt recovery. Bad debt recovery is the amount of debt that is paid either in full amount or in partial amount after the debt has been written off or classified as bad debt. Ini bermaksud bad debt recovery atau hutang lapuk pulih adalah jumlah hutang yang dibayar sama ada dalam jumlah penuh atau sebahagian. Selepas hutang tersebut dihapus kira atau dikelaskan sebagai hutang lapu. Langkah-langkah peregodan adalah Pertama, wujudkan semula akaun belum terima ataupun accounts receivable dan yang kedua, catatkan pembayaran yang diterima. Journal Entry for Bad Debt Recovery Untuk langkah pertama, wujudkan semula akaun belum terima atau accounts receivable. So, debit accounts receivable for example 600 and credit bad debt recovery 600. The narration to record Re-establish accounts receivable. Untuk langkah yang kedua, catatkan pembayaran yang diterima. Oleh itu, debit cash 600 and credit accounts receivable 600. The narration to record the cash receipt. Now we look at example 3. Perniagaan Messi financial position extracted on 1st January 2020. Accounts receivable 100,000. Allowance for doubtful debt 900. 
Additional information on 31st July 2020, Encik Ali has paid 300 his debt that was already classified as bad debt previously. Show the journal entries. Journal entry for bad debt recovery. First step, create accounts receivable. Debit accounts receivable, 300 and credit bad debt recovery 300 the narration to record re-establish accounts receivable second step is to record the payment debit cash 300 and credit accounts receivable 300 narration to record a cash receipt Example 4. Syarikat Leong Lai started his business on 1st January 2000. For the year 2015, opening balance of accounts receivable is RM120,000. And the following transactions have occurred. Prepare a journal entry for each transaction. Ignore the narration. On 24 July 2015, the company recognized a debtor, Andy Lau, was declared bankrupt and unable to pay his debt RM10,000. The answer is, on 24 July, debit bad debt expenses 10,000 and credit accounts receivable 10,000. On 10 August 2015, Jackie Chan faced losses and could not pay his debt RM13,000. The answer is, on 10 August 2015, debit bad debt expenses 13,000 and credit accounts receivable 13,000. On 14 October 2015, Andy Lau paid RM5000 to settle his previous debt. To answer this question, you have to make two journals. On 14 October 2015, debit account receivable 5000, credit bad debt recovery 5000, and debit cash 5000 and credit accounts receivable 5000 the last question is due to economic crisis the company provided 10% on the balance of accounts receivable for allowance for doubtful debt next year allowance is made since 31st december 2015 so, to answer these questions, you have to firstly calculate balance of accounts receivable and then calculate bad debt expenses. To calculate closing balance of accounts receivable, you have to draw accounts T for accounts receivable. First of all, fill in balance brought forward on 1st January, that is 120,000. And then, on 24th July, bad debt 10,000 at the credit side. On 10 August, bad debt 13,000 at the credit side. 14 October, cash 5,000 at the credit side and at the debit side on 14 October is bad debt recovery 5,000. So, to calculate the closing balance of accounts receivable, you have to balance the accounts left and right that is 125,000 and then you can get the missing figure 
that is 97,000 the closing balance of accounts receivable and the closing balance of accounts receivable if we multiply with allowance rate equals to 9,700 that is closing balance of AFDD or allowance for doubtful debt. After that, we can calculate the bad debt expenses. First of all, draw a T accounts for allowance for doubtful debt and fill in the balance brought forward at the credit side that is zero and then fill in balance carry forward 9700. The figure of 9700 we get from the calculation at the closing accounts receivable at the previous slide. Then balance the account T left and right 9700 and the missing figure is bad debt expenses that is 9700. So the general entry on 31st December is debit bad debt expenses 9700 and credit allowance for doubtful debt 9700. That's all for topic accounting for receivable and the next video is topical exercise for this topic. Please watch, subscribe, like and share. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera.